My name is Kweku Dokumenta. I was born in Accra, uh, in Ghana. I got a home, you got a home too. I'm alone and you're alone too. I count the days, I see your tears on them. I'd always felt creatively at home in Montreal even before I moved. It's one of the first cities I played in Canada because, I mean, there's only a few big cities that you can play in Canada, so it was one of the first, and my first experience of the city was through the audience, how the audience responded to my music, and also what people would say after performances when they'd come up to me, um, in terms of the way they kind of contextualized the music. It, it didn't seem so distant from them. So that was one thing uh, that, that kind of started my affinity for the city. Uh, and then over the years I'd come and, and you know, just like play and then go back. Uh, but around 2014 and 2015, I met Pierre Prendes uh, and Hervé, he's my manager now. I met them, um, we connected, we talked about working in music, found out a bit about what they were doing in the city. Um, Found out also that we shared a very similar background, very similar experiences in this country. We grew up, you know, on the continent of Africa. It came in our teens, so we had that in common, and we also had a common creative vision. We share similar experiences uh, in our, in our, you know, like what they would call an immigrant experience, but we're from the continent of Africa and having come in our teens, and and also having these aspirations where it's like. We are going to assert our expression. We're going to make music, we're going to make art, we're going to throw parties the way we want to and turn people on to um, how we experienced parties like with our families or like, you know, at a banquet hall with like a Ghanaian community or Congolese community. We wanted to bring that to like uh, a mainstream sort of Canadian kind of uh, experience. And the city felt like it was like really open to it. I, I feel like it is, it could only happen here. Oh yeah, Patty Smith. Yeah. Have you written? Have you written that? About the story of 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 the story Stories and words, the way you can create a world with words. I think that to me is as present in my expression as the sound itself. I think literature is definitely one of the fastest ways to have a sort of psychedelic experience about your positioning. It puts the eye in a different kind of, you know, like the eye, like the personal, in a different kind of position. Like, I think it helps break down the barriers between people, between worlds, between communities. Whoever Comes Knocking, my third record, um, is actually the most difficult uh, project that I've worked on. Um, because uh, during the, the three-year period that I was making this record, I was in transition. Um, that's when I was looking for a place to, that felt right to me. I was looking for a city, a place to live that felt right to me. But I think because of that, that tension, a lot of that energy went into the work itself. There's songs that express or capture certain cities, certain communities, like certain things that were like very impactful to me. There's a lot of stories there. I'm glad to have had that outlet in that period. Yeah. 